Hey guys, it's Johnny from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a Flash review. This time, it's my UI version 1.11.11 for the AT&T Samsung Galaxy S2. Alright, so um, you launch into this, you're going to see that it's got a... Oh, to me, it kind of almost has a touch with feel to it. Um, it's kind of got nice rounded corners, uh, very nice elegant look to it. It's very snappy. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. And uh, you can see as soon as you hit the settings, you're going to see that they really have it split up into your personal settings, your system settings, and program settings. And you can change those tabs up here at the top. Um, you're pretty much going to find all the stuff that you would on most ROMs, but you get a little bit more in depth with some of them. Um, if we go into the system settings and we come down to the about phone, they're definitely going to be a little bit more in depth with it. You're going to see that the model is the i777, which is the AT&T branded one. Um, what version of Android I'm running. Uh, a dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor with 1 gig of RAM. Um, it's going to show you how much is available and how much is free. Um, you can see my signal, everything like that. Um, you can see the current baseband version, um, your kernel version, and the mod. Um, everything is built in there. Very clean, easy to use. Um, you can change your battery settings, so you have an alarm for when your battery is low. Um, there's a bunch of different stuff you can come in. Uh, power button settings, uh, long press to kill an app. Um, disable on lock screen. Um, you can do a bunch of different stuff with this. Um, go over to the programs. You can adjust your message settings, Gmail settings, everything like that. The cool thing about this is the themes. This this is a very themable. Uh, it, it's it it's very themable. It, it really allows you to express who you are. There's a there's a movie developer team with over seven hundred thousand movie fans. Um, they update this thing weekly based on people's feedback. So it's kind of nice like that. Um, it, it, there's over currently over 100 themes on the online theme. These are just some of them that I, I grabbed real quick. So let's go ahead and, and swap one over. You can go ahead and you can preview it and see what the screenshots are. Um, you will see the Japanese text. That's something they're working on right now because it is ported over. Um, but it doesn't show up on your phone like that. So let's go ahead and click apply. Um, you're going to see how quick and easy that is to... It's saying the new font library may cause some apps to display incorrectly. Reboot to fix this issue. We're not going to do that. We're going to go back home and you're going to be able to see that that turned it into a really nice elegant feature. If we go back to the settings here, you can actually change the way that it scrolls by clicking on the launcher settings. Transition effects, you can go all sorts of different stuff. So let's go ahead and check out crossfade and see what that does. Um, really didn't have much going on there with the crossfade setting. Um, let's go back to the launcher settings, take a look at another one. Um, let's see the fall down setup. Uh, take a look at that. You can see how it wants to fall down. Very cool. Bunch of different stuff like that. Uh, the drop down bar, um, you're going to see that they have it separated from notifications and toggles. Uh, you can see that I, one of my notifications that I'm using the program screencast to go ahead and record this. Uh, toggles are set. Um, Set up like that, it's pretty nice. Um, go ahead and flip that back up. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the gallery. You can see that uh, you can see all your folders. Um, yeah, pictures of me and my friends. Uh, you can check out your favorites or your SD card you can browse through. So, pretty nice and clean. Um, you also have a file explorer. Um, this is pretty nice because it's going to separate, uh, it's, it's going to show you what what is using up your free space. Um, what's on your SD card and uh, your FTP so you can file transfer wirelessly. Um, some basic tools um, so you can see what's going on there. Um, let's go ahead and change to a different theme here. Um, let's go to this orange zipper one. This is kind of unique. Really quick here, show you just another theme. So, like I said, there's there's over a hundred different themes in the market right now for this, um, and uh, you know you can choose your hard way. So this one's kind of got like the workman look. It's got the orange leather. Um, 
pretty nice stuff. Go into our contacts, and we'll see that the contacts are pretty nice. Um, you can slide up and down uh, to choose them. Your dialer looks nice. The dialer gets themed as well. Your drop-down menu gets themed as well. You can go from contacts to groups to favorites. Um, cool stuff like that. Um, pretty much when you choose a theme, it's pretty much everything's normally themed here. Um, the Google Talk is actually set up to do video as well. Um, the camera works really well. Um, let's go ahead and switch themes here. Um, each theme is going to have a different lock screen, so actually let's go ahead and show you the lock screen now. If I go ahead and power off, you'll see the CRT animation, and here's the lock screen for this one. I moved the zipper, uh, which is kind of unique. Um, lots of cool features to this. Um, I definitely say check it out, but you guys got to be reminded that it is not perfect. It is something that is updated every Friday um, based upon feedback. So if you like this mod, I suggest getting it. It's really customizable, but you got to remember that uh, your feedback is needed in order to make it uh, improve. Um, so, uh, again, big thanks to the uh, MyUI um, Android team. Um, this is MyUI version 1.11.11 for the Samsung Galaxy S2 for AT&T. Um, make sure to check out uh, mobiletechvideos.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and uh, most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video as a subscribed user. Have a good one.